Welcome everyone to this instructional overview of the Dark Crypt Fog Machine. Now this is made by Real Game Effects and we're going to go over the basics of how to put it together and take it apart so that if you receive any loose pieces in your package you'll know how to put it all together and assemble it. So let's start with the primary component. Now we call this the fog riser. What we have here is a pump that's attached to a water tube, comes up these channels, fills this reservoir, and then the ultrasonic pump creates the fog. So let's take this apart real quick. And the first thing that you can see is we have a little black plastic elbow. That goes right on the water tube. So when you get yours, if that's loose, just put that on top of the water tube and look for the hole in the pump. And that's going to go together just like this. And kind of take it and just center it inside there. That's not really super important, but just to have it centered there so that it sits right. Now, the next thing that we have is the ultrasonic transducer. So this is going to go in here. And now let's take a look at these little channels. And as you can see, that sits down in there nicely and that wire is going to fall in there. This lip is going to sit in the front of the building here. So you're going to want that lip to aim towards the front. Let's take our roof off. And we're going to just set this down inside the building and we're going to take our wires and put them out the back. Now, let me show you something real quick. You do not want your wires to be sitting over the fog maker. If it's sitting over the center of this, it's going to interfere with the, the amount of fog that's created. So make sure that that sits towards the back. Let's put this back inside of here. And again, just put your wires out the back here. You can then put your roof on. Uh, there's two ways that you could put water in here. One way is you could put it in the front. So this is about nine ounces of water here. That when we poured out half of it, so you got about four, four and a half ounces of water in there. I recommend doing it like this instead of using a full bottle. There's two ways that you could do it. One, you could pour it in through here. Or two, you could take your roof off and you could pour the water in through here. But if you have a full bottle, chances are you're not going to know when to stop and that water is going to overflow and come out the windows and the door here. So you want the water sitting level on the inside here, just below this opening. Now let's go over the power supply here. Now the power supply, you're going to get a couple of cables like this that come with it. And you may be able to see it on here, five volts, 5 volts and 24 volts. Now this is very important. You only want to plug the ultrasonic transducer into the 24 volt port. So the ultrasonic transducer is the part that's up in the top here. You're going to take that wire and you're going to plug it into the 24 volt port. Now the pump is going to go in one of these 5 volt ports. It really doesn't matter. Uh, there's an optional port in here for the fog monster and we'll go into that in another video but that's the basics of how it goes together. Now the power supply doesn't have an actual power switch on it. It operates just by plugging it into the wall. So once you've plugged your two plugs into here from the machine, plug it into the wall, the machine will operate. When you don't want it on, just unplug it. So this has just been a brief overview of the Dark Crypt Fog Machine, and we hope you enjoy it. We can't wait for you to send in some pictures and videos of how you use this in your game.